Hey, welcome back to the next episode. So since we are building Node.js REST API, we cannot build everything on our own. So we need a framework. So in this episode, we are going to set up our Express server. We are, Express JS is a framework that we that can be used to build Node.js REST APIs. So without further delay, let's get started. Let's load the same uh, application which we have built in the previous episode where we have built, where we have set up the Node.js project. So, so this is the express.js page. Let's copy this command, go back to the VS code and let's, let's install. So observe package.json, when we, when we run this command, npm install express. Okay, when we run this package, we, in the package.json dependencies, so the express is, is getting added to the dependencies object automatically. And also we have created node mod, it creates node modules folder as well. So let's go ahead and uninstall. With uninstall command, that express will get deleted from dev dependencies. And as you can see, under node modules, all the library, libraries will be gone. And I want to show a few more commands here. So if you install with no save flag, it installs express, but that express doesn't get added to the package.json. Now let's clear. Again, uninstall this express so that it gets deleted from node modules folder and come back here. This time let's install express with, with another flag called save dev. What actually save dev, save dev is, is that this time the express gets added to the dev dependencies object, not the dependencies object. So let's uninstall this one as well again. Now it gets deleted. Now you don't see that under node modules. So I, I just wanted to show you different flags and different ways to install things so that um, you will get familiar with this. Okay, now we have installed Express. And here is the package log.json. So it, the package log.json has all the details of Express and their dependencies and their sub-dependencies, their peer dependencies, all that information you have that in package log.json. So let's import Express. So we, the way we import Express in Node.js is using require. Now we have imported, let's assign this to some variable. So I'm naming the variable app. So you can actually name that app to any name. So you can put application, you can, you can, you can put anything. So I'm actually um, running this Node.js app on port 4000. Now, since Express is assigned to app, app variable, so we can create express server with the listen command. So what, what this listen function does is, it actually takes the port so that it listens on that particular port. At this time, it's a 4000. And it takes a function as a second parameter. So in this function, you can put anything. So right now we are putting console log statement where express server listening on particular port. Let's change this to template strings so that we can attach that port to the comment here. Okay, now we have created express server here. So it is very easy to create express server and let's copy the, the first thing, uh, the route, first route, and put it here. So instead of hello world, let's, let's change something else my first express app.
Now let's run this application and let's see. Now we have already defined start command, so let's run npm start. So when you run npm start, so you can actually see the comment express server listening on port 4000. So now the express server is listening on the port 4000. Let's go back to the browser and hit localhost 4000 here. Yes, so our first express app is running and you can actually see the, um, the, the text that we are actually sending. So you can you can put normal HTML as well. You don't have, I mean instead of text, let's put heading here. Not only heading, you can you can send any information through respond.send. If you load it now, you don't see that reflection. I mean you don't you don't see it here right away because you need to restart the application. Let's restart it for the changes to reflect. Now now you can actually see it. So right now we are sending uh, inline uh, text. Uh, for example, if you want to send multiple lines, it is very difficult. So let's create a index.html. Uh, it doesn't have to be index.html, you can name anything. So I just named it as index.html. So let's put heading here. This is coming from the index.html. Or this is coming, this is coming from the file. So we have a another function called send file. So you whenever you are sending file as a response, you need to use this function send file instead of just send. Now if you run the if you restart the application, you will get an error. This is because even though it is in the same directory, Node.js doesn't understand, um, doesn't pick up the index.html from the same directory. So we need to use another library called path. So let's, let's import that path with the same required command. Okay, now the path is there. Um, you don't have to install separate library because the path is already included in the express. When you install express, path is already there with express library. So once you have the path there, you can you can use path.join. There are two commands in Node.js where you can use with, with hyphen hyphen directory name, it actually gives you the present directory. So we are joining present directory slash index.html. Now restart the application. Now it works. So don't forget to remember path here. So, and if you are sending any file, you need to use send function. So that is how you create express server and that is how you send any responses. To the web so thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and we will see more complicated things in the future episodes